next stop, Oxford Street and North Love Road. And just like that, a new countdown had begun. A daily commute from White Rock to Vancouver. Welcome to Creative Wandering. The home of videos for dailycreatives.com, where I'm trying to answer the question, how to design a lifestyle you don't need a vacation from. We covered four continents, 19 countries, and 35 cities. Now we are happy to be back home in Canada. Check out dailycreatives.com. Two times per week, I will update the blog with interesting perspectives cooking, projects, designing a life I don't need a vacation from. Okay, uh, coming into the, the studio. We have a vintage record player now. New for me, old records. Um, we have Gordon Lightfoot. You know this song. Mm -hmm. This is a classic. If you could read my mind Just like an old time movie About a ghost from a wishing well In a castle dark Or a fortress strong Somebody actually threatened to get rid of that record player if we didn't take it home with us when we left Calgary. It might have been my mom or my dad, I don't know. But they didn't want to store it anymore, even though we'd been out of the country. In truth, they'd stored it for a long time. So my grandfather's records came home with Fisher. My dad gave up some. My husband's dad gave up some as well. So now, along with a bunch of new acquisitions, because records are becoming so popular again, the studio has the rich sound of records being played, which I love to hear. And while Fisher was having fun getting his studio all set up, reminiscing with old music, classic tunes from the 70s, I was on a shopping trip. It was time to buy stock up actually on my Annie Sloan supplies so that I could do a project at home. But first things first, always market day. And to get the kitchen set up again, we found we had to go to Bulk Barn and stock up on all supplies. The project was our headboard. You can see here as it's laying down flat, these little scratches that have been taken out of it. It is a mystery as to why those scratches occur. But here's the inspiration for the new colors, a way to layer in a whole bunch of interest and surface texture to give the headboard an inconsistent look so that future scratches will be hidden. Here I've added in some stencil work in nice light colors, just completely random so there's no evidence of any kind of damage that will come later on. I went a bit crazy at the Annie Sloan store. I even bought some gold foil paint, which I could apply in streaks and give it another element of texture, a little bit of shine. And when the light hits it in a certain way, you get this sort of antique patina. I really love how it came out. The headboard is full of whimsy and it's unpredictable looking. It's not looking like it came from a store at all which was what I was going for. I think it's taking a little bit of getting used to from my husband. Thanks for watching. We'll see you soon.